Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the child exploitation industry known as anime. <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny. Uh, so we did a video a couple of days ago talking about how problematic, problematic anime is in that, uh, you know, there were certain senators over in Australia that want to ban it completely because they consider it, uh, they consider it child endangerment. Um, and now apparently Amazon is having an issue with any underage anime girl figurines, even if they are completely dressed and not doing anything provocative. But yet we still have those terrible underage um, she dolls and they're being sold on Amazon. You can take their clothes off. And yes, so, and, and I'm sure people do. Have you seen, have you seen Tumblr? So we can <laughs> sell, we can sell that. It's okay to exploit she but it's not okay to exploit these other characters who are fully clothed and aren't a problem. Yes, so we're gonna talk about that. This I, I thought was really, really bizarre. I don't know if somebody reported these items or what the deal is, uh, but it's pretty crazy. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're at almost 100,000 subs. Yes, we're so close. Thank you for that, guys. Uh, thank you for that. So we've got some friends who are uh, pretty big fans of Hatsune Miku, mm -hmm. and now she's banned. She's banned yeah, from Amazon. Go. But his toys are worth more. And uh, Kaito Tenchi, Twin Angel? Yeah, they're they're banned. Um, so this is coming from Bounding in the Comics. A retailer has reported that a variety of figures of anime girls were removed from his Amazon-hosted storefront with communications from the company stating they were removed for promoting child exploitation. Yes, but they're not. Child exploitation. That's nuts. Are on, they actual children? No, they're not. Are, they, are they characters that are underage that are, are, that are dr naked? No. Uh, now, Hatsune Miku is 16 years old at age of death. Um, that's not actually, she's not dead because she was never alive to begin with. That's right. I hate to break it to you guys. She's not real. Hatsune Miku is not real. Even though you can see her live in quotes on stage. You can. So this is the retailer. That's what they took down? Yes. So it's so cute. Yeah, she's very cute. Look at how provocatively dressed she is. When I say cute, I mean like adorable. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing wrong with this figure. So look at the, look at this figure. This is what there apparently is nothing wrong with that. was pulled down. And this is what Amazon said. We're writing to let you know that the following detail pages have been removed from our catalog. This item has been identified as one that is prohibited for sale or listing on Amazon. Amazon does not allow to sell products that promote child exploitation or depict children or characters resembling children in a suggestive manner. Where? For more information, refer to the seller help page. There's Why no is this happening? There's nothing suggestive about that. That figure has nothing suggestive about it. It's fully clothed. She looks like she's just dancing and playing a guitar keyboard. What do they call this? What is the problem? What is the There's problem? There's nothing wrong with that one at all. I mean, I'd buy that for our daughter. That's actually She'd love pretty it. cool. If we can track one down, we should find one. Um, so it could be that it could be that somebody is flagging his stuff, and yeah. it could be that we've got some of the people who are on board with uh, banning any underage characters. The problem with with anime is you don't know what the ages of the characters are necessarily supposed to be because some of the characters that are like twenty five look like they're twelve. Yeah, that's just yeah. You know, it kind of go because they're cartoons, and at the end of the day, none of them are real. None of them are real. So they've people. taken any Sailor Moon uh, figures down, dolls. Sailor Moon wears less clothing than. And, but she's and she's Miku. like fourteen. Yeah, she's fourteen. Uh oh, I don't know. So yeah, uh, Chuck's anime store. Chuck Gaffney speculate it might be the same. Uh, a hats I've been noticing. Oh, you won't say Amazon. that word, but you say other ass words. Ass hats. There we go. <laughs> ass say, hats. You say other words that are worse. I don't want to talk about asses when I'm talking about anime girls because I don't want to exploit children. <laughs> Might be the same ass hats I've been noticing on Amazon. Out of nowhere a few months ago, old Good Smile Company and other official Miku listings from my store got removed from Amazon, wrongfully claiming it was, was CP. A suspicious mass flagging of all anime products, too. So I have to wonder... Do we have some people who agree with that Australian senator who are like, all anime is problematic. Let's make sure it's all removed from the internet. Well, let's go find things that they like and then go flag it. Yeah, um, Amazon pressured him to manually delete them or delete the account. Even worse is Amazon won't remove the listings from my seller inventory and would threaten me to manually delete them or delete my account listings that have been sold out for five plus years. I've uh, been meaning to get back to selling like I used to. I used to sell a ton of figures. 
Uh, he provided emails sent to him from Amazon, which showed that they had been removed. Uh, they removed multiple figures, all completely non sexual for violating their ban on items that promote child exploitation or depict children or characters. See, this is where it gets problematic. Problematic. Characters resembling children. But that wasn't sexually suggestive. She was it dancing. Like, it looked like a, little, a kid dancing. It looked... I, honestly, there are... There are less clothes on Bratz dolls and Monster High dolls. Oh my gosh, we're talking about sexually uh, is, is suggestive dolls, Bratz dolls. Yeah, they don't make them anymore, I don't think. But Bratz dolls, I mean, come on. So uh, this character also got flagged for being problematic. Um, do we know the age of this fully dressed anime girl? I don't think so. We don't. You have to card her. Oh, I'm sorry. Her. She doesn't carry her card on her because she's not real. Um, Chuck Gaffney, here's the second most recent one. Two figures. One was a tame figure. I, I, I What? I don't get it. The only thing I could think of. Can I see this what, for a minute? What, the collar? I was thinking, well, that. I was thinking these. That's not even. It's not, but I'm just saying. It's not like nothing. I think that they have a problem with. Uh, okay, this one's suggestive too. It's just a girl playing a keyboard. If it's suggestive, then all the all the girls that go to the Catholic school down the street are also uh, tempting. They're well, too this tempting. Is just, I mean, this is stupid because this is it's like stupid. some of the things that they're allowing on. I can, uh, you know, this Miku here. Yeah, she's just dancing. She's just dancing. She's not doing anything wrong. It's because the skirts up in the back. No, it's because it's anime. I think it's because her leg's gonna break the way they drew her legs. I don't know. This is nuts. This is that, crazy. I don't know if the keyboard guitar thing is just, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, on Twitter, Gaffney believes the figures may have been the target of some neo-Puritan crusade or purposefully done uh, biz sabotage. It could be a competitor. I mean, it could be a competitor being like, you're selling too many of those uh, Miku figures and I'm really, really jealous. Well, I'm just thinking about the toys I see out in Walmart and there are some toys out there right now that are dolls and they're, but they aren't banned and they're ones that, you know, you don't know the age of the characters and you don't know, and they could be suggestive. Like I'm thinking, thinking of some of the dolls right now I've seen in my head, you know, I've seen at the store lately and they could be considered that if you really want to push it. Yeah, so this is what people were concerned about. Again, you know, we, we had that senator a couple of weeks ago talking about how problematic anime was. Now, he got shot down. He actually got shot down pretty hard. They're like, there's a reason we have ratings on these cartoons, mm -hmm. you know, and we stand by our ratings and go find something better to do on taxpayer money. I think is yeah. basically what they told him to do. But it seems like there are some people out there who are flagging, uh, flagging just random anime toys. You know, th these might be the same people who were brigading against uh, flame toys making the wind blade, which is a robot. Not even a human, and it's probably a robot's probably you know way older than Miku, right? And uh, we we had to make sure that that didn't well, get produced. Either. I was thinking about the fact that I didn't see the toys for the Shira show, but people said they were pretty much like the Monster High bodies, but they just yeah. retold them for Shira. And those Monster High dolls actually sometimes could have been pretty reveal revealing or questionable for being underage, and they just used those bodies and put them on the Shiras, but they're still available. I checked. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is weird. I, and again, this kind of goes back to what we we're talking about before, that anime is now, for some reason, by some people, like, all anime is being viewed as problematic. What about all the, the dudes with, like, Speedos and junk muscle dude figures? They probably have... Why, yeah, they're allowed, they're, allowed to be, they're allowed to be on there. Do they make many of those, though? Let's be honest. I, I don't Usually think they, they do. do figures of men. It's like, they're the warrior poses. I don't want to look for that on Amazon right now because I don't know what that's going to do to my recommended... Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, yeah, I'd have... But I'd the have... thing is, most of these are pretty tame. I mean, they not like none of these... This one more because she's drawn wonky, or her way she's laid out is wonky. But there's nothing, especially these two, there's nothing wrong with this. This is a girl with a keyboard! Well, Sailor Moon wears less clothing. Yeah. You know, and she's she's 14 for sure. So I, I don't know what the, the deal is. I don't know, again, if this guy has uh, some kind of a rivalry going on. Um, again, I'm going to put a link to the article. You can go check it out. This is the first I've heard of it. But I am wondering if there aren't some activist types now that are going to take what that Australian guy said to heart and go out and try very very hard to just get all the stuff shut down yeah but a lot of stuff is, is fine it's not even like do they make statues that are inappropriate and really low like very little clothes yes are if these it, them no no these are like the ta like look if you're gonna get something removed from amazon you know just go for the juicy stuff this is like the the tamest 
uh, tamest stuff you possibly could flag. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So we're going to keep an eye on the anime situation because anime is apparently, apparently in the crosshairs is becoming more problematic. And even the toys, the toys are a problem. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Yep. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.